Hi everybody, it's Crystal from Regular Crochet. If you're new, thank you for joining me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my uh, crochet tutorials. If you don't like crochet tutorials, I got plenty of yarn content. Keep everybody happy. So today I just have a little bit of yarn here from a, a yarn place that I've never bought from before. <laughs> it's actually, um, it's a fellow YouTuber. I always like to support my fellow YouTubers that are in my genre. So um, maybe many of you have heard of her. Uh, her name is uh, Kristen Omdahl. I think I said that right. Now I will put a link to her YouTube channel below. She does lots of stuff. Uh, she does uh, tutorials and you know talks about yarn and um, all kinds of stuff. It's an, it's an interesting channel. Not only that, she's like written lots of bo books on crochet and knitting and I mean, looking at her work, she looks to be an like an excellent, excellent designer. So anyways, uh, I'll give you a little timeline on this. Um, on May 4th, someone told me, hey, Kristen Omdahl sells yarn on her website. She didn't have very much yarn, just a little bit. But she had milk cotton, I think is the number one thing there. Um, I, I've had milk cotton um, from several different brands, and I'm, I like milk cotton if it... Some of them are good, some of them are not so good. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna check this one out. And then she also had other things that she sold, um, like shawl pins. I actually bought home. I actually bought a couple of those and in patterns, lots of patterns and and stuff like that. So um, it was Kristen on doll.com. Like I said, I'll put that below and I'll link her YouTube channel. Now I'm not affiliated with her. Um, so today is or on the uh, May fourth, uh, someone emailed me and said, "Hey, check out this." Uh, Check out Kristen and check out her milk cotton. I'm like, okay, I will. Um, May 4th, I put it a purchase. May 4th, Kristen sent it. Kristen Omdahl uh, shipped it. And it is now May 6th. It's at my door. Wow. So it came from Florida to Illinois. That was pretty fast shipping, if you ask me. So um, I only got two different yarns in here. They're both milk cotton. They're just two different weights of it. It seemed that, um, you know, she had milk cotton was the major thing, I think, on her site. Um, I like milk cotton, like I said, depending on where it comes from, I guess. But let's open this. Enough talk. Now, I noticed some of you have probably noticed that my yarn shelves are different. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I am removing the yarn, some of the yarn off of my... So, over time, you will see yarn gone from them shelves. Um, the Carolyn cakes will be gone from the, you know... It's okay though. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna put other things there. It's just uh, I'm gonna put yarn that's not in bags and in, in totes. So if it's not in the bag, it's going in a tote. All right, and I do have a tutorial for that top on my channel. Check it out. I do have a tutorial for that hat on my channel. You can check that out. But if you're not interested in that, let's open this yarn. You can see my co-host right here, Mr. Bod, is not with us today. He's helping the kids do their schooling. Okay, so I'm gonna do this quick video here. I'm gonna go out there and uh help them out let's open this up so the site was easy to navigate uh lots of cool stuff on there not just not just uh like i said there wasn't a lot of yarn but she had a lot of other cool stuff as far as she, like soaps that you use to uh uh environmental friendly i think soaps you use that you can hand wash your items with and you know stuff all kinds of cool little knickknacks and bags and pat lots of patterns and stuff Okay, let's see what we got here. So, this is KO, which just stands for Kristen. Kristen Omdahl. Oh, uh, oh, I'm saying her name right. I wish I had my, I wish I had a bag of day yarn. That would be awesome. Anyways, Be So Easy. Bulky number five. 100% milk cotton yarn. 145 yards or 132 meters. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. Your purchase of this yarn supports Project Christian, Kristen Cares. From, for more information, plus patterns and videos, visit, visit kristenomdahl.com. Uh, I, I don't mean to be saying her name wrong. Omdahl. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Now, the color I have in my hand is called Ruby Red. That is nice and soft. <laughs> it's very soft. Like I said, I have uh, had my hands on milk cotton plenty of times. Some not so good. Some very nice this is a nice milk cotton yarn um and i'll get you a prize for that real quick she's got lots of stuff on her site lots of like i said patterns and 
and and whatnot. Not tons of yarn, but she does have some. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Plus, I, you know, like I said, I always like to support my fellow YouTubers. I do. She had a lot of. She had some uh, some fine yarn. You know, I don't like fine weight yarn. Fine weight yarn. So I couldn't get any of that. If you guys like fine yarn, she's got some really pretty fine yarn on there. So her um, be be so easy bulky five milk cotton yarn is six ninety nine a ball it's got a nice label on it and it is very very i chose this ruby red i don't know i love red i love all color i always say brown is my favorite and brown is my favorite but man do i love a good beautiful bright red or even like a blood red gosh it's very pretty so this is what it looks like and you can see that it is spun very very loosely Oh, I guess just there at the beginning. It's very soft. Mm. You know what? I want to make another hat with, uh, like I did that, but I want to make it with a bigger brim. I got some more wire I could use. This would be pretty. Gosh, that's nice. I like it. I do like that. That That's very pretty. Good job on that yarn. Okay, so I did get this. Uh, I did get enough... In, with intentions of making something atop with it. I like that a lot. And then I got it in a lightweight three. Oh, the color of this one was called Ruby Red. So, put that back on there. And then they had, she had it in a lightweight three also. But you know I'm not a huge fan of lightweight threes. It's called Be So Baby Yarn. You can buy it for $3.99 a ball. It's the DK way, with, like I said, lightweight three. Or you can buy a 10-pack for $34.99. So I bought the 10-pack of this bright pink. It's called Diva. Definitely my daughter's color and definitely her name, or it should be. So it's Kristen Omdahl again. Be So Baby, 100% uh, milk fiber, 1.7 ounces, 142 yards, a lightweight number three, your purchase of this yarn supports Project Kristen Carey, so you can read all about that on her website. Um, oh, it, it is delicate wash in a laundry bag. Okay, so you can wash these on delicate in a laundry bag. This one, yeah, sheen wash, delicate, laundry bag recommended. So they're both the same. I wonder where it's made. Oh, it has a, a birth date on it. <laughs> September 2020. My birthday was in September. Oh, that's funny. Um, let me look and see if I can find out where her yarn is made at. Okay, so I could not find um, the Pacific country, Pacific, Pacific country, sorry, that this uh, yarn was made in. But I'll tell you a little bit about milk cotton in general. So milk cotton is a uh, biosynthetic yarn, um, and it is indeed made from milk. Not not like not like you're probably thinking. It's not made like from a gallon of milk that you know that you get at the grocery store. It's made from, um, when they make milk, there's leftover proteins that generally um, they would dis they would uh, throw away, you know, because they wouldn't really be for human consumption. It's made from leftover proteins from the milk making process. And then, you know, of course, it, the, you know, the um, synthetic part of it has, they have to add stuff to that in order to make it, uh, into a yarn so it does not have the appearance of cotton at all when you look at it it has the appearance of acrylic I think it looks like acrylic um, it's very nice though but it is hypoallergenic to for those that, who are allergic to wool this would be a good alternative um, especially if you don't like the feel of regular cotton this is um, you know it's a nice alternative. It, it's it's a little it's a little warmer than regular cotton. 
but it's still a nice yarn. It has a great uh, wicking effect. So um, if you're wearing a garment with it, it's going to wick the water away from your garment. So say you're wearing a, a top or something and you get sweaty, it's going to wick the moisture away from your body. Um, when you make something with it though, I mean, it can be, like I said, uh, washed and dry, but you know, you want to do it delicately. Of course, I recommend that hand washing anything that you make, but if you want to throw this into the washer and dryer, it can be done. Um, it will lose its shape after it's, uh, washed. Um, so like it's stre kind of stretches, uh, like soaks up the water, you know what I mean? So it gets soaky. So, um, but you know, once you, if you put it in the dryer, it should go back or you can wet block it afterwards. But I'm saying that it, it is a really nice yarn. This hers is really nice. It's a nice milk cotton. I, I've, it's one of the nicer ones as far as the way it feels. It's very soft. Very, it's, it's nice and scarfable. I wish I could explain what it feels like. It does appear that it will split a bit though when you're working with it. But milk cotton has that, does that sometimes. And here's the pink one, which is the DK. And it's bright pink. It's bright pink. <laughs> Neon! And there's your DK. That's about a perfect DK. I like that. That's nice. And it feels about the same, except for it's just lighter weight. That's very nice. Avalon would really like something. That would make a beautiful, beautiful, soft, soft baby blanket for my daughter. I don't like making blankets, so I'll hide this from her. Anyways. Okay, so I told you about the two yarns that I got. I like them both. A very nice milk cotton yarn. And if you want to learn more about milk cotton, you can always Google it. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, also on uh, Kristen's website, she tells, tells you a little bit about it too before you buy it. And remember, she does have other yarns. I just got uh, those two. Um, because a lot of the other yarns were like really lightweight yarns. And I wasn't, I'm not really interested in that. So... Now I'm going to move on. I bought two shawl pins. I like shawl pins a lot. Now these are wood shawl pins. Let's look at them. Ooh, these are pretty. Now these were $9.99 a piece. Okay. So this is ebony wood. That's beautiful. I think I have... Um, this might work on something I got coming up. They ha she ha I think there was like five or six different shapes of shawl pins, and this one is a rosewood. So they had, she had both, like, say she had this one in the ebony and the rosewood, and this one in ebony and rosewood, and I think she had five or six different shawl pins. But this one I liked because it was just kind of simple, you know? I like shawl pins and stuff like that. Those are... Those are nice. I like those. So those were $9.99 a piece. Very pretty. So that's what I got from her website. Now, um, um, that's it. That's my video. All I can tell you is that um, if you're not familiar with malt cotton, I said, um, if I didn't tell you enough about it, Google it, read into it. It is a very nice yarn. Um, and hers is very nice. Um, I like it a lot. Like I said, it's very soft. That pink is gorgeous. Very light, it's lightweight DK, but I mean, it's the DK, not my favorite, but that, that would make a beautiful drapey shawl too. The drape on that would be beautiful. Light, lacy stitch. The things that can be made with that. So yeah, I love, I like it. Good job, uh, Kristen. And remember she does part of this, uh, the proceeds of the, of this yarn. And goes to project Kristen cares and I did that look that up and it is uh, for uh, it goes towards domestic violence so I mean check it out on her website check out her website she has a lot of cool stuff and her YouTube channel links below remember I'm not affiliated with her but she's a fellow youtuber so give her a subscribe show her some support you know how we like to support our our community in any way that we can so thanks everybody for watching bye bye guys